Living in Alberta, we understand the seriousness of BSC or mad cow disease and how important the precautions we take are to protect the health and welfare of all Alberta's residents, including the cats. I'm Marika, this is Kylie, Becca, and Allison. Today we're going to go over to the University of Alberta and see how well informed students are about this disease. So do you know what BSC is and what BSC stands for? Um, I know it's mad cow disease. I don't know what it stands for. Like bovine sanity evasion? Uh, brain damage for cows? I don't know. <laughs> I bet brain's the B. I think it's science brain, the S. Brain stem? Oh, brain stem. Mm, no, okay, no, entropy, we're, we're, no, 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 we're totally off. We also spoke to Dr. Kehoe from the Prion Research Network. Let's see what he has to say about BSC. In prion disease, like BSC or the human form like Creutzfeldt Jakob disease, you get a chain reaction of misfolding proteins, and they disrupt cell operations, and the cells die, and fluid fills the space. And then when you look at the brain after death, you don't see the fluid, you see holes. And it looks like a sponge. So the B stands for bovine, the cow. The S stands for spongiform, the sponge-like appearance. And the E stands for encephalopathy, the sick brain. Are cows with mad cow disease actually angry? No. <laughs> no, but they might be dead. No. I know that one. What does a mad cow look like? Ugh. Like. Earlier symptoms tend to be behaviorally noticed and then later on neurological symptoms. The time between picking up the disease and the onset of symptoms is about four to five years. Once symptoms appear though, they can include abnormal posture, loss of coordination, difficulty getting up, decreased milk production, weight loss, even though they have an increased appetite, and yes, changes in behavior, including aggression and nervousness. Do you think that mad cow disease is fatal? Uh, to the cow it is, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I feel like it is fatal, but you know, I'm no expert. Mad cow disease is fatal as the tissue in the brain and spinal cord cannot repair itself once damaged. After the onset of symptoms, they last between two to six months before the cow dies. However, they are normally euthanized before this onset. It's a very unusual agent, and it's only relatively recently recognized as an infectious agent. So we don't know as much about it as other infections, but we're learning quickly. Do you ever worry about getting mad cow disease? No. No. <laughs> no. I'm not that scared. I know they've had mad cow scares when I've been. Man, what do you think happened in Alberta? Like it was There was a ago. mad cow scare, yeah. Yeah, that's like a huge scare. I don't scare. think I was personally like <laughs> Cause you didn't worried eat. about <laughs> eating beef because I was afraid of mad chicken. cow disease. All right, all right, it's fair. Now getting the disease from cattle uh, is damn nigh impossible these days because of the very rigorous uh, required removal of all the potentially agent carrying materials from cattle. People cannot get mad cow or CJD by eating the muscle of the cow and there's also no evidence that it can be contracted by eating milk or milk products. In fact, you should worry more about getting hit by lightning. You're 3,500 times more likely to get hit by it in your lifetime than you are to get diagnosed with CJD. So now you know about mad cow. Watch for the symptoms you don't want to allow. Nervousness, aggressiveness, standing weird, stumbling, eating lots but losing weight. For more milk, you'll have to wait. Don't worry, these cows won't end up on your plate. 